It's that time again. What's up, everybody? This is Dad's Land and Fab. Hope you enjoy the show. Deuces. Get cracked. Three, two, one. Boom! Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, boys and girls. Another episode of Dad's Hercules. 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 <laughs> I think that's another episode <laughs> of Dad's Lads and Kebabs. Niall is in the car in the rain. Niall's lost his house, he ran off. I mean, don't be spreading those sorts of rumors. But I am doing an episode from the car like the old days. Oh, nostalgia is just. I think I always creeping. think if I've got an hour to kill, why not fit an episode in? We're here, we might as well. Mm hmm. hmm. Brilliant. How is everybody? Everybody is good. They've just told me. Hello? Yeah. Yeah, they're all good. All good. <laughs> Mickey boy, how are you doing? I'm okay. It's, you got uh, the elbow support. Yeah, my elbow's proper fucked, man. I need to go doctors at some point. Is it? Was, is the support helping? Yeah, but it's still difficult. Like, I struggled to squeeze like a, a ketchup bottle. That's... That's the limited amount of pressure I can put on it. It's all work like this. Yeah. If I go, if I go, if I pick this up, it hurts. Like a little can of Pepsi. Or if I try and squeeze something and it and it resists, it like shoots a pain up on the bend. So it's not the bone. I don't think it's a tendon. I don't think it's mm. tennis elbow anymore. I've been googling all parts of the elbow and that. Fuck knows what it is. There's lots of different. So, have you illnesses. thought about going to see a physio? I'd probably want to go to doctors first, just to, you know, they just, might se- they might send me for a, an MRI or an X-ray or whatever they do on an arm. Won't be an X-ray, right? right? No. Mm, maybe it's just bone I'm related, sure. isn't it? I'm not need... sure, man. Don't ask, don't ask me medical professional questions. You know, anything medical I know <laughs> is ninety nine percent bullshit. <laughs> uh, no. I am another year older, though. You are. It was your your B day yesterday. Oh, mate. I am the old age of thirty two. Yes, thirty two years old, Niall. Thirty two Congrat- years old. Congratulations. Do you feel any different from the day before? Ooh, Apart I from mean, you got probably got some presents, had a nice time, maybe. I did. I did. I will. I will say I don't feel any older. No. I will. I will die a 22 year old is that is what i'm gonna say i think 22 is like a good age for me well okay. i was i was stu- i was stupid and i'll still be stupid when i die okay well done <laughs> <laughs> brilliant mickey mickey had no comeback for that <laughs> I don't know, I was trying to figure out what the fuck you're on about. You just said you're 32, but you die at 22, and I'm like, okay. No, like, I will die a 22-year-old. In my mindset, I'll die uh, a 22-year-old. Got yeah. I was going to say, you really confounded me then. I'm like, what the fuck is he on about? Confronted? What a word. I know, it probably doesn't mean what I mean. Mean it to me. <laughs> but it's do fine. we care? It's our show! It's our show! It's fuck them! Just fucking listen. Do what fuck hey, guys. Hey, TikTok, <laughs> look, it's a bottle of drink. It's a bottle of drink, TikTok. Woo-hoo! Yes, so we will start on TikTok. I like to make clips of our episodes, the funny bits, the controversial bits. Put them up on TikTok and Instagram for the reels. And to my surprise, I put a, a little clip up of us being number one podcast for fitness. And oop, oop. we're having a laugh and a joke and saying, oh, we need to we need to actually talk about some fitness now instead of shitting ourselves to lose weight. And then you said, you don't need to have food in your fridge to lose weight. You need to fill it with water. Ego so, TikTok. So, <laughs> Get out on your show. <laughs> so basically, Niall had a fridge full of water, didn't you? Water bowls. I got a car full of water too. <laughs> And they took it down for drug-related abuse and alcohol abuse and all that sort of thing. I don't have any alcohol in my fridge. I looked back at the video and I was like, well, I don't have any alcohol in my fridge. In fact, there's no alcohol in my house. No. 
No, but you alcohol are, free house. What makes me laugh is you're allowed. You can you can drink a beer on TikTok. You can drink anything on TikTok. I just don't really understand why they actually thought that it was needed to take it down. I think that all this, all it had in the comments was number one, Daz Lads of Kebabs hashtag, and that was <coughs> that was basically <laughs> it. So it's not like we put, oh, getting pissed or anything like that. So obviously no, we no. appealed, we appealed it, and yeah, we've got our we won back on. There. We won our but case. It it had it had like six hundred views. It got taken down, and now it's got like fourteen views. So it's just like oh, we fucked that. They've fucked our views on that video, which is not impressed. Not Bastards. that we get paid for it, but you know, it's, they just it's, don't want us getting paid. They seen they seen the threat, exactly. and they thought these and bastards. I was I was absolutely shocked. I was shocked yeah. that they had banned that, and obviously. That's just a bot has picked that up for some reason. Maybe someone reported it. Who knows? But they can fuck off. Bastards. But, yeah. You reported my fridge, you're a dickhead. Just because my fridge is nicer than yours. That's all I can think of. That it, They thought it was alcohol in there. But then again, alcohol is not banned on TikTok or any platform if you show it. Even drink it. <sighs> anyway, they just fuck TikTok. It. Fuck them. They're never going to pay us. Bastards. No bastards so yeah so that was uh, an interesting start to the week when i saw yep. that fucking being banned do you know what i did do the other day though i was in i was out shopping in tesco and i thought oh euros are up this week um why not be why not be 16 and buy a wall chart stick on my door can fill out all the scores like i used to do when i was a kid and every tournament yeah oh so i I was like, shut up. Just because you don't like football. Yeah, oh, my God. Fucking I love ballet fo- I like fo- I like football. Ballet boy. I mean, I like football, but just come on, man. A chart for you all. Yeah, we'll chart. Yeah, you take it down. You finish, you write the scores down, and then, yeah, who plays who and that. It's fucking cool. Jesus. Write in the comments if Niall's being a bell end. Oh, come on. You can get all the football dickheads on here. Uh, <laughs> what a mate. Fucking... Fuck you, mate. Yeah, you fucking know. Anyway. It's all about the Stella in the games. I couldn't find any in the magazines in Tesco. So I thought, okay, I'm walking past. Radio Times had a free pullout wall chart. And I thought, oh, that's good. I'll buy that then. Do you know how much fucking Radio Times is? Have a oh, guess. Two ninety nine. No. Four fifty. Yes. Four pound fifty to see what's on the fucking telly for a week. Woo! Wow! Radio oh. times used to be free in the Sunday paper. Yeah, and then then it, fuck. I used to at Christmas time. I used to highlight all the Christmas telly I wanted to record on my video. <sighs> they were the days. The nostalgia of going. There's a film on at eleven, and I'm taping it. Do not touch the fucking telly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Oh, the days of tape, the days of taping stuff, man. People, kids don't know what we struggled through. We just have to tape days. shit. And if you, like left, if you, if you left it recorded, you might get a, a naughty program at the end. It's on that late yeah. at night. <laughs> oh my god, the old days of Sky A eh, and the ten minute preview. <laughs> oh, there was a rumor that you couldn't record them. It wouldn't record, but I don't know. I mean put it this way i could i used to be able to make it through a 10 minute preview and then have to click over to babe station <laughs> yeah on the other hand back when back <laughs> when the day back when the days of stamina yeah keep it going let's go round two round three round four yeah you, you'd have to go to the next one for the same preview over again <laughs> yeah. it's just piss now <laughs> oh god <laughs> one spurt <laughs> babe, sta- babe station they used to be funny i remember because people used to call up and just take the piss mm. i never and watched I just it ne- to be fair no but you must have seen it you must have scrolled yeah i've seen it. i've seen the the bird on on the sofa going i just never i never understood somebody just sat there going Woo, with the phone just how oh, that's a thing why who hey, baby. like <laughs> dave sat in his pants eating a chinese after his piss just like yeah, I'll call him. All right, yeah. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? And then goes, what are you doing? <laughs> I can see you. 
Hello. No. <laughs> He's terrible. All right, me darling. <laughs> oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> you want to touch yeah. me, will <laughs> No. <laughs> Just no. <laughs> God. Oh, fuck you now. So what did you do for your birthday then? Oh, I didn't do very much. I had a couple of family, like, two lots of family visits come round. One on Monday and one yesterday. Yeah. I had a Chinese. Mm. Just kept it healthy. I had a... <laughs> I, had, um, what, I had satay chicken with... Oh, um, yummy. Satay chicken with rice noodles. This was lovely. Oh, I love satay it was sauce. It was, mm. that's, I've really got back into it. Mm. Really got back oh. into... Um, I went off it because I used to have it all the time. Yeah. And then, yeah, I had it. So I had satay chicken, which was really nice. That was good. And then, yeah, I, I just... Oh, what, I didn't do very much. I've uh, chilled out at home, really. Had a... Oh. I was working... Got some lovely presents, mind you. Working on his birthday. Whoop, whoop. Hey, listen, respect the grind. The pennies has got to keep coming in. I just had to pay for a. I just had to pay for a fucking full service and two new tires. So, uh, it's got to keep working. We're we talking three hundred. Four four eighty, oh, wow. and then four eighty plus two new tires. I think it was about. I think it was about five seventy or something like that. Fucking together. Hell. Gone, was, we spoke I mean, about I, this before, but gone of the day, you just you just pause oh. in the fucking garage to get something fixed. It, your minimum is like two hundred pound every get, visit. Gone of the days where you go to the garage and get two part ones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man, yeah. So that was that was that. Um, no, I got some lovely presents. I will say that I got some amazing birthday presents. Yeah, my present to I, you is not here yet. I know where the fuck is it. I've not received it yet. It's coming to me first. What? Yeah, I've been I... watching. I've been Fuck. watching out in the post for days. No, you ain't, because when it arrives, you'll be in the fucking jungle. So don't worry about it. Do do do. I'm in the jungle, jungle. Sorry. So yeah. So what? I got to listen to this. So one of my main presents from the old struggle and strife. And Ball and chain. Born chain. Um, he loves you really. I got, I got an artificial turf. Let's say, let's call it an artificial turf electric brush slash Hoover. Okay. So think of like, do you know those really heavy duty yard brushes? Mm -hmm. Like with the big spikes on them. Yeah. You probably use them at work every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's one of them, but it's on a, it's on a reel, and it's like. So it looks like a lawnmower. It looks just like a lawnmower, but underneath is a big reel of an electric brush. Anyway, what it does is it brings your AstroTurf, which I have lots yeah. of, back to life. And it basically gets all the shit up, all of it. However, it puts the pretty lines in your artificial turf, which is for me. It's just like, ooh. I, look out, I, looked, I did it yesterday. Obviously, I got it. I opened it. I was like, right, I'm putting this together. Went outside, did the whole go did the whole garden. I was like, stood back, watched like a fifty year old. I was like, yeah, that's my turf. Nice. It's so I got that. That was. It's good when you love get it. and you and you get weird presents and you oh like practical we've, presents. We've been doing practical gifts ever since we've been together. Um, we always buy for Christmas or birthday one practical gift. I've had irons last year for my birthday. I got a Karcher window vac. Yeah. yeah. Car Listen, by the way, if you ever get a chance to get one, if you're ever, because you'd like to wash your own car, mm -hmm. if you want to get rid of all the water and all the streamy bits, get a car to back. You, you, you'll you dry your car in seconds. Can you put it on the paintwork? Yeah. Or just windows? Fine. Yeah? No, on the paintwork. Just oh, the whole, nice. I, dry, I dry my whole car in it. Because I have to go around with the fucking microfiber cloth trying to get all the... the Gone with the days of that, mate. Gone oh, with wow. the days of that, and it leaves it shiny. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, it doesn't. It's it's only a soft sort of suction. It's not a lot, but it gets all the. Uh... It's only half yeah, sucking. Not putting the effort in. <laughs> yeah. There's there's no gagging in that. There's no gagging in it. But yeah. Um. 
Yeah, we always buy a practical gift. Practical gifts are a bit of like a bit of fun. I mean, there's been some randoms. We've got each other some right random stuff. But yeah, practical gifts are brilliant. Oh, I got good. a set of I got a set of Oakley sunglasses from the in laws. Yeah. Not Viper. I've not Pit Viper, no. They're coming out tomorrow. So I'm dishing them out tomorrow on the uh because we we go to we set off. We're off tomorrow. Early hours tomorrow. I will be on my way to the Peak District. Have you got your destination where you're aiming for? <clears throat> like to camp. Bakewell. Oh, to camp. Yeah. Um yeah, so it's just outside Bakewell. Oh yeah, yeah. Um we went past it's not there. five. It's like five minutes past Bakewell. And then we're gonna do we're gonna do three routes. Um one tomorrow, two on Saturday. So how many nights are you camping and sleeping for? Two nights. So Friday, Saturday night. Yeah, Friday night, Saturday night. So Sunday you will come home. Sunday we'll come home. A changed man. <sighs> Lost A in the wild wilderness. cave. This man. beard, this beard will be like <laughs> down here. <laughs> I'll let you. I'll. I'll literally. I'll have muscles popping out everywhere. No, which I won't. I'll probably walk in the house. Because bearing in mind, I'm doing all the driving, so I'll be driving there and back, and doing the fucking twenty miles that we're doing. Twenty-six miles, I think it is altogether. All three routes. Wow. What else to walk? Bit, Are you going to any like? Is it just hills and hikes, or is it certain? Yeah. Places? So there's a there's a <clears throat> one of them's called. Chi Day. I'm going to say it wrong because my wife keeps correcting me on it because she's that's her neck of the woods. I'm going somewhere called Chi Day, Chi Day or Stepping Stones, which is like but done that. waterfalls and Did, yeah, I've done, I've done that last year. Yeah, yeah, it looks good. That's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've done yeah. That. Next, <laughs> well, uh, we are doing Thor's Cave. Oh, I didn't do that one, and then. We're either doing Witness Pass, Wit Witness, 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 yeah, Witness Pass, or we might drive a little bit further and do Kinder Scout. Ah, Lud's Church is a good one as well. Well, where we're staying mm. is obviously there's an abandoned castle, like literally. Like, oh, yeah, a you said about that the other week. Yeah. So I'm gonna go and have a look. Do my do a bit of a night exploring. Yeah, your brother will love that. I can't wait. Do you know what I can't wait for? is for the noise pollution and the light pollution. Just to, to fuck be, off. To, be, to fuck off. Because I do love it when you are in the middle of nowhere and then all of a sudden the light goes and it is just dark. Darkness falls. Oh. Oh. That must be the best for you. Even when you go on your expeditions and your hunts and that's... When you must get someone, you must think, this is just pure darkness. Oh, yeah. It's, you just hear animal noise a lot of the time. Especially when you're out in the wilderness and abandoned have places. You, have you been lately? Have you been out hunting or anywhere? Have you got any plans to go hunting anytime soon or to any new locations? Or I'm, a, I'm going out next Thursday. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, I'm going out with Tom again. Cool, cool. Um... And I've got, obviously, I've got Scotland booked with Mark in September. I imagine Sweet. I'll be having lots more before that, to be fair. It's just, mm -hmm. I think I've actually got one in July in, I think it's called the Old Nick Theatre in Gainsborough, which is right of Sheffield. I'm sure that's early oh. early July. I'm not, I should really write these down. I book them and then I just don't fucking. <laughs> you fucking, yeah, it's not on top of your shit, man. Listen, if, if Mickey's got anything booked in with you listeners. Yeah. Make sure you fucking make sure you check it on him because he, he doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> he's probably agreed to all sorts. Yeah, I also booked one in November as well in an good. old abandoned school with some TV people. So that'd be oh, good. Fuck that. It's just too scary for me. Schools, man. It's... I've like... never never done a school, never done a prison, not properly. Oh. So always went. To... Have you done hospital? Have you done a hospital? Like not 
mental hospital, but an actual hospital. No. Oh God. They're not. Mm. Um, they're not normally available. To be fair, um, maybe there was in some of the prisons that offer ghost hunts. They probably maybe have had a like a hospital wing that they probably do up. <laughs> Because obviously I'm the, the abandoned ones will be fucked. There'll be nothing left. But like the museum <laughs> ones will be whole sort of thing. So yeah. Possibly, yeah. I'm waiting for Ghost Adventures to do Chernobyl. When, were they, when are they doing that? I don't think they will. Because Zach doesn't like flying. Does he not fly? Nope. That's why when they have the house series... the, the He's series, not in He's not. He's house not in the new calls. series. He is he's not in house calls. Is no, he? he? He's he's like I am behind a screen, and he rings the guys up, sends them off because they said, "Oh, I've booked your plane ticket." And then they go, and now I, I read hmm. somewhere or I saw a podcast or something, and they're talking about it, that they had a, a bad experience one time, and you know, on an airplane. So that's why Zach doesn't fly. And now, now I realise. I think why is he not on the doing the house calls on the series? He's, they've had like three series now. He's never done them, and when they travel. On these big like Halloween specials, he takes that massive RV, doesn't he? That looks like a mm. hotel on wheels. And there so he sets it. off like a week before. <laughs> yeah, because driving across like America takes days, if not like weeks. Exactly. That's that's why they do like a road trip for that for the series that they film normally, mm. so that he can do it. Obviously, in luxury. So. I do love a ghost, a good Ghost Adventures episode, though. Yeah. For me, when they did, they did a, they did the house. Not was it like the Hell House or something? Hell House. I don't know. It's the Devil. Devil's Den. And it, yeah, and it was just, it was the, like last, last, yeah. the most haunted house he'd ever been to. And he, he ended up. I think he tried to buy it off them, or he bought it off them. He did buy it off them in the episode. No, did he? I can't yeah. Anyway, it was a good one, and no, and he stayed there by himself. He stayed in the house, like he actually stayed overnight. I can't remember what episode it was, but it was fucking brilliant. The devil lives here, or something like that. I don't know. It was a good one. It's on Disco Discovery Plus, I'm sure. Love Discovery Plus, best subscription in the world. It's three pound ninety nine. It's well good. Oh, it's good. It's it's definitely worth your money. Although I've just signed up to MGM. Fuck it on up. fucking Prime. So I've added another, and that's six ninety nine. So what's MGM then? MGM is like movies slash because I wanted to watch this show from America um, called Force. Yeah, it's part of the part of the Power Saga, um, mm. and I had, to, I had to I had to get it for it. So yeah, I, another streaming service that I probably won't even look at. I should probably go and look at it. But I've uh, downloaded a few films for my uh, little weekend away i don't imagine i'll be watching much but i think when i go to bed if i've got some background noise that'd be nice everyone's snoring oh. <laughs> oh. we we bought a, i bought a rain shelter as well so this is like an add-on to all the camping gear that i had to go on the, over bought... the top over the top of the tent well it, it's going to go in the it's going to go in the middle of all three tents because we That's looked at the weather yeah. and obviously months ago when we booked this we thought it's going to be summer it's going to be hot just gonna need shorts and t-shirt and everything will be fine but obviously we live in the uk and we have constant cloud we've had clouds for weeks now i'm not jumping on this cloud seeding bollocks i don't know what it is we're here, just having no. sh we're just having shit weather i think um but it is strange being the middle of june and the weather is this bad like we we're having no days of sun not just yes. the odd day of rain no days of sun. Yesterday, I was on the news last night. Um, this time last year, on this exact day, it was 30 degrees. And yesterday, it was 16 degrees. So, 14 degree difference. And it's like, it is cold. I admit, last night, I was sat watching telly and I was like, I'm cold. People I'm have been cold. putting heating on. I've seen on Facebook today. <sighs> my it's... heating normally go. my heating goes off at like mid middle of april and then it doesn't come back on till the end of september october yeah um no fucking hell it's just been shit shit weather so anyway we i bought a rain shelter for 
said trip. Yeah. But it's it's a two pole. Sh- it's like a looks like a pyramid. Yeah, so yeah. it's a two pole thing that you prop up and then four no six guy ropes. Yeah, so we come can, off it to, to yeah. support it. Yeah, yeah. Can so you we get can all, all your tents in there? Yeah. No, 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 no. No, it's not for our tents. It's just for us basically to sit under. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Because so your, your tents. We've got cooking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I'll tell, yeah. yeah, yeah. So we've got to cook and everything. But what we'll do is we'll do it, we'll put them in a triangle, like. Yeah, yeah. I keep saying circle, and the guy, it's not circle, is it? It's fucking three tents. I'm like, all right. Okay, it's triangle then. Whatever. I bet you were buzzing, because I'd be fucking buzzing for that, man. I'd love to. Oh, I am. That shit. I'm, look- I love- I'm looking forward to it. I am looking forward to it. But I bought this, so I bought this thing last minute. So I bought it on Tuesday night, and it come today. So I was lucky. Because I, buy? I bought. What did I buy? Yeah. Told you the rain shower. The rain shower no. come today. No, you. Just... Oh, sorry. I thought you bought something else because you've been talking about no, that no. for like five minutes, and I thought no. I said, oh, so I bought it on Tuesday. Tu- no, uh, I, I ordered it. I ordered it, right. and it come. It come today. So I was lucky because I was thinking, if it comes tomorrow, I'm fucked. I haven't got it, but it come today, so I was, I was happy. I haven't. But I haven't tested it. No. But if there is a problem with it and I don't need it, I'll send it back <laughs> to Amazon. Of course. Because <laughs> um, that's what yeah. needs to be done. Absolutely. Yeah. I'll check it over. And if it's shit, I'll put it back. But, um, yeah, so... I don't know where I started. It's fucking... Yeah, the weather's shit. It's just constant rain. Yeah, we every ch- day chucked it down about four as I was leaving work today. I'm just dying. For... They they did say it's going to be the wettest summer that we've had in forty years. Yeah, they, uh, they said that the other week. Yeah, and I thought, wow. Sometimes you believe them, sometimes you don't, because obviously they do lie and they don't get the weather correct. But yeah, it's fucking. It's a bit sad. <laughs> I don't want to work in the rain. <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> I don't it, like it. A, I know. The thing is, right, is I know right now I'm moaning about it, but if the 40 degree, if the 40 degree... Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, Give me rain over 40 degrees any fucking day of the week. Then I'll be like, no, I'll bring that cold weather back. <laughs> bring it back. So I'm not trying, I'm not moaning too much because we know how quick the tables can turn in this country. Yeah. It'll be, it'll be like this now, and then the, in about two weeks' time, the grass will all be dead. Exactly. Don't be fucking hose pipe bands. Although they can't, they can't moan this year about the water. Sure, surely. No. What is that? Oh yeah, that's it. That's where I'm going. Yeah. Yeah. Did you do the full route? Yeah, it took fucking ages, and I went around the other side of it, and then couldn't get out to back to where because I parked at the train station there's a little train station there yeah, yeah. and um, they got a little, a little shop and toilets and stuff there and you go down the track and you go that way and you go all the way to the bottom all the way around it takes fucking ages and you think once you hit the bottom obviously you go across because little bridges across and you come back the other way you see the stepping stones because there's a big viaduct at the beginning that you go underneath to get to it um, yeah. to get to the route and as you're coming back you think you rejoin it well you don't it doesn't fucking go that way it's about another four miles that way for fuck's sake so we cut cut through and then ended up in a big tunnel which thankfully led us back to the train station but yeah, yeah. You, it's so easy to get lost coming back and I thought fucking hell it takes ages because a lot of it is all rocks it's not just a path. Some of it's just a path, like a muddy path. But then you've got rocks. You have to climb down, climb up on this path, either side of this like river. So did you navigate that route? Just followed the path with the sign. Okay. All right, okay. Because I, I wanted to see these stepping stones because it's something that we like to search for. I'm looking forward to it. I, it, it everyone, if you do the full route, apparently, through the tunnel, apparently... Um, it's about three. It's about three hours. I'd say that, yeah. 
definitely. Yeah. So we'll see. Tomorrow, that's tomorrow's one. No. Yeah. Thor's caves tomorrow. Yeah, there's there's Under just there's just so many to do up there, which are all like pretty cool. But I was I was only there for like a day as I was passing. I was coming home from um, Carlisle ghost hunting, and I stopped over there. My friend was there, so I met up and we went for a walk. So I couldn't I do. Everything. I still want to camp. I want to camp at Pendle Hill. Yes. Because you, if, you, if you're going to do that and you, you're going to go to the top, you've got to wild camp it. You've got to have a dark tent and you've got to go up at night and come down yeah, but early doors. <clears throat> the hill is just a hill. It's very misleading. There's different sections of Pendle Hill that make up, or well, the witch's case anyway, the story, <laughs> the, uh, you know, the folklore, as it were. Folklore. I love there is, folklore. There is a big hill. Whether that is the Pendle Hill, I don't know, that we saw. But, yeah, there's about four different locations I went to. But it's very, very, it's a great, the little village there, uh, there's a few yeah. little villages that go through and they're all, like, they turn the village all witchy and they've got witch shops and everything throughout the October months, anyway. I was going to say, imagine for Halloween, they they get a few visitors. But then why not? Why not rely on your surrounding areas for a bit of a bit of an income exactly a bit of tourism bloody hell i'm sure o i'm sure uh not oxford i'm sure stratford um you know makes their mark on bloody shakespeare man oh yeah is it shakespeare yeah yeah, yeah. yeah shakespeare yeah stratford stratford, yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah that and uh anne hathaway anne hathaway yeah it's cottage yeah hathaway. yeah because we went to both of them. we went to shakespeare's and we went to anne and i was like they're just houses you're not going to see Shakespeare house in the window. Is fucking rubbish. Yeah. Everything house. seems new apart from his, his original bedroom and bed, which is upstairs, and you can't really look at. You just have to walk through the room with the barrier, don't you? I want to sit on that fucker. I want to test it out if he has good springs or not. <laughs> <laughs> I got into a row with my favourite <gasps> beverage company. Costa Coffee! Woo! Costa Coffee. When I picked up my son from uni the other week, before we came home, I decided to take him up to Costa because it's around the corner. And I thought the best cheesecake in the world is the Biscoff cheesecake that Costa make. And it's absolutely amazing. What's Niall doing? Is it raining? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you're weird. Um, yeah, so I bought two of them. Gave one to my son, one for me, obviously. And I started eating it, and I'm thinking, it's a bit shit. Like before, I give it a 12 out of 10. This was a f lucky to get a 5 or a 6. And the mi the white creamy bit in the middle, which is the fucking game changer, is normally like cream cheese and all the flavourings and that. This taste is like cake. Bit of, like sort of sponge but not quite and i thought mm -hmm. maybe i've just got a shit one so my son didn't finish his so i finished the other bit and i thought it's still shit so, two pieces to find out it was shit <laughs> <laughs> obviously it was cheat day so what i normally do get home what do you do you fucking go on twitter and you abuse them so i said oh, just been it. just been here had the cheesecake didn't taste very nice. Have you changed the recipe? And then I got a reply from Lauren or someone. Said, hi, Mickey. Thanks for having our food. Yes, we've recently changed the recipe. What did you think of it? I said, well, I said, it wasn't very nice. I said, I always used to say it was the best cheesecake I'd ever had. But now it's awful. <laughs> I said, please change the recipe back because I don't like it. <laughs> And oh she said, God. "She said, oh no, sorry to hear that. I will, I will put that back as feedback and uh, let the team know so maybe something will change in the future. And I'm like, why the fuck did you change it? Fucking Don't Tesco fuck something up that's good. Tesco basic cheesecake <sighs> is better than the cost of one now. And the fact it's £4 each, there you go. 
It's not worth. It's like it's, not it's like when Mac, it's it's like when McDonald's got rid of the bagel, the breakfast bagel. Oh, it's I like them. the breakfast bagel is the bollocks. People are buying it. People want it, right? And you took it away. It's, I don't want. Do <clears throat> I don't want a McMuffin. I don't want the because McMuffins are rough. They're fucking horrible. On the outside, right? yeah. I don't get them. I don't like the bread. Right? I want a bagel. I'll settle for the wrap. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, right? I'll settle nice. for it. Yeah. But I want the cheesy bagel. I want the breakfast bagel. And you fucked it up. You took it away from me. Oh. It's like when they took the sugar out of Lucas Aid. It's, it's still... It's okay. But it's not it's, fucking real. It's not the same. It's not the same, people. <sighs> people don't understand. Like, when you fuck with something that's good and you just shit on it... Yeah, it's like why, you, like when they make chocolate bars smaller and charge you more money, or they take yeah. the sugar. What did they take the sugar out of? They took sugar out of was it Mars bar or Snickers, and it tasted worse. I can't remember one of them, wasn't it? People are complaining that they just Mars didn't bar. taste the same. They took they took a lot of sugar out of it, and it, so the, the taste was shitter. Let's do it online taste test. <laughs> Oh my god, I wish I could eat a Mars bar. I've got to wait till Saturday. Right. Oh. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say that tastes the same. That's alright, that's fine. I I didn't say they changed it. <laughs> so it's not it's not Mars bar. No, it's not Mars bar. That's something else. Maybe Kit Kat or something. I don't fucking know. So it, it could be Snickers. <laughs> oh, <fuck's sake. laughs> you fat bastard. <laughs> you can see he's in the car waiting. <laughs> Throw the wrappers on the floor. Hide the evidence the in the house. <laughs> the taste test is. Oh my god, that's fucking funny. These have been in the car for about a week as well. <laughs> <laughs> Are they hidden in the drawer? No. Um, right. Big debate, people. Are we going for Snickers? Or are we going for Mars Bar? I would personally go for Snickers. I think that's a, a superior brand of chocolate and taste. I haven't got any more spot. That was good, though, wasn't it? That was fucking good. That's amazing. <laughs> I don't want any more. That was not planned, Stop. believe me. I, I wanted my dinner. And I, I, I can't... I'm waiting for my dinner. And I can't we, eat sweets. What are you having for dinner? Mm. I don't know, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Hey. Oh. I have got a question for you. What's your favourite favourite advert that you can remember? Favourite advert? That just yeah, made got you it. Piss, got piss it. yourself. Okay. Oh, no, no. It's like, mm, didn't make me piss myself. But it well, was funny, very... Or, emo or, f yeah, okay, or emotional. We'll, we'll go with emotion, whichever you like. It was the it was the war... It was the war... World, World War Two Christmas advert when... They give each other the chocolate bar and they play football. Oh yeah, yeah. And they stop playing. Most... They, they stop. Yeah, they go out on no man's land. Yeah. But there is, there's a German one that I see, and it's like it, it, it does its cycle every Christmas on Facebook and stuff. And it's where, and it's it's from the it's basically the German version of Lidl, and I'm sure Lidl is probably the German version of Lidl. <laughs> um, however, basically, so this dad. Uh, rings all he's got loads he's, he's an old man he's in like his 80s and he rings all his kids and he says are oh, you coming home for Christmas you coming yes, home I've seen that yeah. you coming home and then they're all like no I'm too busy I can't can't make it this year yeah. and then the following year he sends out his death notice yeah 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 and that's it they all ball it because they fucking let him down yeah and then they all turn up at his house like all sad and he's just there and he's made Christmas dinner yeah, he and he pops all, out, then he, and surprises them. Yeah, he's like, "Well, that. how 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 else was I supposed to get you all here?" I was like, "Yeah." There, there's, there's been many emotional Christmas adverts. Christmas adverts are brilliant. Yeah, emotional adverts down the years. I've got I've got two adverts to play you now that Go. are very very well known. Um, mm -hmm. Just so I thought I'm about it the other day, and I thought, "Oh, adverts! This this was one of my favourite ones." Let's go. But it's not my favourite. Well, you know the best 
Hello? Hey, who? What's up? Nothing, B. Just watching the game, having a bud. What's up with you? Nothing. Watching the game, having a bud. True. True. What's up? What's up? Yo, who's that? Yo! Yo, pick up the phone! Hello? What's up? What's up? Yeah. Yo, where's Dookie? Yo, Dookie! Yo. What's that? What's that? <laughs> Hold on. Hello? <laughs> so what's up, B? Watching the game, having a bud. True. True. <laughs> Amy, can you? No, it's Carol. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, oh, that was a classic. That was that, so... That, that, to me, that's like nostalgia. Back in the day when life was funny, life was good, everybody was happy, and it's just like, what's that? Everyone did that, didn't they, to their friends? They were doing oh, funny phone calls to people. <laughs> I've got it, I've got it, I've got another funny one. Yeah. Can you pull them up? If I say it, can you pull it up? Do you have to do something? Um, I'd put them on the system for this. Oh, man. Oh, he's gone. He's run away. Niall's gone. Where's he gone? Niall, where Hello. are you? Oh, there Hello. you go. Where'd you what go? happened there? He just went black. Yeah, for fucking two minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what... What, what, did, what did So... You do? I can look on my phone. Mine was type in Peter K. John Smith advert. Claire from work. Claire from work. All right. Those girls are gorgeous. What if you could go out with any girl in the world? I love you. And my friendly Kelly Brook on a plate here. Not interested. Tess Daly. No. I won't get upset. It's only a game. Claire from work. Because <laughs> 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 you know that's fucking doable. That's oh, fucking... It's not <laughs> even that, is it? Because it's like... <laughs> if you say something like that, you'd be like, you said to your wife, you'd be like, oh, your best friend. <laughs> you're like, what yeah. the fuck? <laughs> it's like, oh my God. But I, this is my favorite ever advert, yeah? It's just so, the first, every time I watch it, I fucking cry. Hit so me. I'm, I'm going to fucking hit you with a brick. Here we go. You probably fucking remember it as soon as I play it. Hey, are you going to finish those? Sorry, they're already gone. No, they're not. You left the best part. No, I'm pretty sure I'm not getting anything. Mmm, cheese. I can't see nothing. Oh, it's right just now. me. No, I Can couldn't see? see it. No? No. You're lying. <laughs> Could you no, hear anything, though? No? Oh. Nope. You got the first one, though? Yeah. Okay, we'll try again then. Hey, are you going to finish those? Sorry, they're already gone. No, they're not. You left the best part. No, I'm pretty sure they're... Mmm, cheese. I love Doritos. <laughs> I've never seen that. <laughs> no, it's just the way he sucks on his finger. Jeez. Oh, Niall just fucked himself off. Niall has removed himself yet again. People, this is why we don't film in the car. This is why. <laughs> oh, I've never seen that. 
Have you not? No! <laughs> it's fucking awesome. I see, every time I saw it on telly back in the day, I would fucking burst out laughing. It's just so... It's so brilliant, because... I've never seen that. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. That is funny. <laughs> It's fucking wicked. I also like to talk about D-Day, Niall, because we had D-Day yes, last week. we did. We? Yeah. And um, at the cemetery, we had, obviously, we got a lot of war graves. So, obviously, we had to make sure they were nice, ready to go, people visiting, paying their respects. And I was just wondering, there's been lots of... On social media around this time, you see all the little clips and you know, the videos and and the memes about oh they did this for you to be on the beach. They went on their beach so you can go on your beach, sort of thing, mm -hmm. like on holiday. And I was just thinking, how many? There was thousands and thousands that died that day, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like no, the normal day landing when they got off. D Day. They removed, yeah. yeah the, when they removed that shield and uh, they ran onto that beach in Normandy. And they were just instant death for so many people. Imagine the feeling that you know this is it. In like ten minutes, I'm dead. Do you... That's God. a lot. Of, that's the thought a lot of them had, though, right? That that must be. F and I, I mean, imagine, even horrible. before, I didn't realize even before they got to the beach, there were sea mines. There were things in the mm -hmm. water overturn the boats. They were, you know, being shot at whilst on the boats. Yeah. Like, it, it doesn't really put it into perspective that what some people live through. Like, we bitch about so much. We fucking bitch about, you know, having haircuts in our house for two years and fucking sitting watching telly and getting paid for it. But, yeah. like, <clears throat> I, don't, I don't think anybody can comprehend or the respect is... I, I don't care how many years this is celebrated for of D-Day because it should be celebrated forever and it should be a big thing every year. Yeah. Like, the the thing that upsets me is the value seems to have diminished that schools didn't even do anything for it. No. Or, you know, like, this was a fucking big day. A big day in our history. Yeah, it changed And it's not war. a good thing. It's uh -huh. not a good thing. War's not a good thing. But these pe these poor souls were told, you're going there. You have no choice. Mm. Imagine that. Imagine your your fate is literally... Like, today's society couldn't handle that. But, but imagine your fate was literally decided for you. Yeah. This is where you're going. You haven't got a choice. So you're going. And, we, you yeah, know... It's like saying, we're going to pick you up in a van. You're going to go in there. You're going to put this on. And when you get there, we're going to kill you. And you're like, right. oh my god! Imagine you, got, you haven't got a choice. That the is the just... thought process of every person that would landed onto that beach, thinking, "I've literally running for life here." Yeah, I am running for life to get. And I'm, what am I doing? I'm running towards them. Exactly, because you couldn't go anywhere else. Yeah, you know, the amazing respect to those poor souls that. That perished on that beach. Heroic souls, souls as well. Absolutely heroic. Oh, I yeah. think the word hero, hero is tossed around too easily this day and age. But those are fucking real fucking heroes. Yeah, yeah. That... And you could see the look on some of their faces. The ones that were there at the anniversary. Yeah. Like not many left. <laughs> there isn't. There isn't. No. There is not many left from that era. At all. I, think, and... I think I think the most or the best way to understand it is if you watch which which army film was it war film was it Saving Private Ryan at the beginning Saving Private yeah Saving Private Ryan did it yeah yeah when they're on that that boat and then it comes the shot goes well, up the, and then the good story is the fact that the old man goes to the memorial graves before you see what happened yeah yeah so and you apparently. I mean, apparently, when you if you ever go to Normandy, the uh, that that field of crosses of gravestones is like a it's like a work of art. Mm. The way they're all put on an angle, and yeah, I, got, I, I was supposed to be going there at some point, 
Um, <laughs> ghost hunting. You never know. <laughs> is that sick on the beach? Who knows? Oh, I, I mean, is it is it any is it worse than any other place you've ever been to? No, because if I'm if it's going to be dealt with with, with respect, maybe but like any, and I'm sure some souls there that are trapped. Maybe they don't any understand. Place that you've ever gone to has been dealt with with respect, right? Oh yeah, yeah. From from myself, yeah, definitely. Yeah. No, but good. Yeah. It's um. Mm. I just think it should be celebrated mm. with more um with more stature purely because I feel like it's probably a big part in our history and with everything else that's a tradition this day and age it's going to be soon to be forgotten and it will just be put as a it'll be in a book somewhere because I'm not sure if my kids kids will get to learn about World War Two. I think they will I think the next generation for a while is fucked like I've always said but then something drastic will happen and then it will reset so I think all the old traditions will be back so I think that will help and I think that will be the start of it hmm. for sure so, yeah I think so for sure well that, I think that's nice and I just think it's, it's, it should be here it's important that it's celebrated and any anything to do with war and people that have given their lives to l allow us to have the, the, the life that we have yeah and life that we have now yeah yeah mm -hmm. you can't just, just take everything for granted because it could be no taken no of course away. not of course not absolutely um you know but yeah guys i'm gonna end the show there because i've got to be somewhere mm. um back, thanks thank you i mean no it's full of chocolate but and balloons. thanks for joining us listen what's your debate guys comment below which is better what's your debate all right but thanks for joining us on this random episode of dad's lads and kebabs we will continue filming no matter where we are or what we're doing yeah okay if we've got an hour we're coming with a power i <laughs> <laughs> was so shit That's funny, um and we'd like but to guys everybody for all the hundreds of downloads again this week Every week, keep sharing the podcast, keep sharing the videos, the clips, the TikTok. And, like, uh, subscribe, share, yeah. enjoy. Yeah. And on that note, people, peace out, deuces, and fuck off. <laughs>